Welcome to another session of business startup training. Today we'll be looking at the UK budget and we're just going to pick some highlights from it. Um, you are going to get a, a better understanding and appreciation of what the budget, some of the major highlights of the budget. And um, due to the fact that we have a pandemic right now, which is coronavirus, um, it has caused the Chancellor of the Exchequer to have more of a headache on his hand in terms of ensuring that um, the public finances are kept intact. And at the same time, um, services are provided. Um, you know, so it's kind of a, a juggling act between providing services and um, uh, ensuring that, that the economy keeps ticking in light of the coronavirus setback. Now, we're gonna look at um, some highlights from it via, you know, inputting information in Excel in the X, in an Excel spreadsheet. And once we do that, we kind of just gonna look at the main things. We're gonna look at the top three of in terms of income, and then we look at the top three in terms of um, expenditure. I hope you like this, so you can um, press the like and um, share and subscribe. Now let's get into it. I'm gonna do another share screen. And we're gonna just look at some of the figures here. Okay, so our first, the first thing we're gonna look at here is um, the top three income contributors to the budget over the, which is expected and 2021 to 20, 22 period. Um, so we're gonna we quote in the figures in billion billion pounds. Now what I've done is I I got um, I, as I said before I researched and I found the top three. The top three number one in terms of the income is income tax. So the income tax contributes about two hundred and eight billion to the UK uh, budget coffers. The next um, highest contributor is the VAT, which 161 billion, and national insurance of 150 billion. So we can see here that um, the income tax is about 24%. Uh, so I would say this is you know, a major one. And then we have the others, 18%. Um, and maybe put it in that color. And, um, and the next one is 17%. You know, th this is quite similar, it seems. The total income is expected to be about 876 billion. Okay, so it's nearly a trillion in terms of the total income for from the, the budget. Now let's look at the expenditure side. So in the expenditure side, we see the top three um, expenditure the government has. Um, social protection with 285 billion and health is 178 billion and then education is 116 billion. So, so social protection is 31% of the total expenditure. Um, health is next in line at 19% and education is 13%. Um, the, the total expenditure is 928 and we can find a difference here. So the receipt is 876. So 876 and minus 928. We can see that there's going to be a deficit of 52 billion as it stands based on this. Now, the major headache, it seems, is that this figure needs to come down. And the components of this figure is state pension, spending on... Um, hospitals, free meals, home care, um, generally protecting the most vulnerable in the society. But it seems as though this um, is significant and needs to either come down or we need to have a situation where the income tax, the receipts from income tax increases significantly. And this could either be by the more people getting into work um, so much more 
of the population, you know, working um, so that this figure increases significantly. Well, as it stands, it's not sustainable because um, those who are in work is actually, um, those who are in work are actually uh, not contributing as much. And I mean, we all would not want to have to contribute more anyway, but uh, the, 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 the receipts from those who are in work is not as much as those who are out of work or needing to be protected because of something. So there needs to be an increase here. Um, I'm assuming also an increase in the others. But it's a major headache because if you touch any of these, people are going to cry because, I mean, currently taxes are quite high anyway. Um, but this is a huge challenge or maybe a major headache. The next headache we can see here is that the coronavirus, the expenditure on it is about 407 billion. Now, 407 billion is 44% um, of the, the total expenditure. And the total expenditure is about 928. So 44% of it is going to be spent on coronavirus. Now, the major challenge is how are we going to get this money back? And they, you know, the, the various um, proposals are um, we need to um, maybe invest in, in, in assets that will allow for a massive appreciation that allows for the government to recover in years to come this money. And any the other proposal is to increase taxes, which again is going to cause problems because people are going to cry because, you know, already there's a challenge, as I said in our previous video, um, YouTube video that um, the threshold is going to be fixed for several periods means that the poor is going to suffer and if you increase taxes it's going to even cause that to be much um, a much worse situation but this is a major dilemma that the government has how is it going to recover it or, or finance well it, it will be able to finance this but how is it going to pay back this 407 billion and this may go up to you know five or six hundred billion by the time this pandemic is over so this is going to be a major issue how to recover this money um in in some years to come but um it the it, it makes for good reading or good knowledge in a way we can see what are the top three earners Top three, number one, income tax, VAT, and national insurance. And the top expenditure is social protection, health, and education. Um, health and education uh, is a relatively stable one, but I think social protection might need to be adjusted at some point, or there needs to be an increase somewhere to kind of compensate for it. This is my take. I hope you like this information. And if you do like it, press the um, notification bell for the next video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you next time.